the shade was real when the Kardashian sisters stopped by watch what happens live with Andy Cohen on January 14. Kim, Kourtney, and Khloe Kardashian dished on just about everything, and Kourtney even sat through a game of the famous Plead the Fifth, which Kim and Khloe have both played before. First up, Andy Cohen asked her who her least favorite of Kim's exes is. She hesitated at first, making sure she was remembering all of them, and Khloe was not having it. The fact that you have to think this hard is, dot she told her sister, rolling her eyes. Just say it finally, Courtney gave in and shouted, Chris Humphreys. No surprise there, Chris didn't make the greatest impression on the family when he and Kim were together in 2011. Things got even worse when they separated in just 72 days and he tried to have the marriage annulled, resulting in a years-long legal battle that wasn't finalized until June 2013. After Courtney listed Chris as her response to Andy's question, Chloe admitted that she agrees completely, and Courtney chimed in from the background, 1000% the topic of Chris Humphreys came up again during the after show, when Andy asked Courtney and Chloe how long they thought Kim's marriage to Chris would last. I was blown away they were even engaged, Chloe admitted, while Courtney added, I was rooting for it in the moment because I was living with them. Ah, uh, meanwhile, the second question in Courtney's plead the fifth game was if she would have stayed with Tristan Thompson after his cheating scandal like Chloe did. She admitted that, yes, she probably would have stuck it out with Tristan because when you have a family, you do everything you can for your family. She was also asked to reveal which of her sisters she finds the least interesting to look at, since Kim said on the last season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, would go to Courtney. Rather than answering that one, since everybody already knows her answer, Kim, of course, Courtney decided to plead the fifth and pass a question on to Kim. Kim was tasked with answering which of her public enemies she'd rather get stuck in an elevator with, Drake or Taylor Swift. She did not hesitate to choose Taylor, as she also admitted earlier in the show that they had squashed their beef 